Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to backtest a momentum strategy that we will eventually use on Coinbase Pro via their API. And the strategy is the following. So we have a total of 12 cryptocurrencies that I was able to get data for from Coinbase Pro ranging back to the last quarter of 2019. And out of those 12, I'm gonna make combinations or groups of four assets. And then for every group, I'm gonna apply a momentum strategy. And the momentum strategy will look back 60 bars and get the total return, which will give us the momentum for each of the cryptocurrencies. And then I will pick the one with the highest momentum and we will eventually enter a long position in that cryptocurrency and hold for an hour. So every hour on the hour, we will compare which cryptocurrency has the highest momentum out of that group of four, and we will keep swapping positions into the one with the highest momentum. So I'll run through an example. I'll go ahead and, and provide this price series of 15 minute bars, which is just the closing bars for these 12 cryptocurrencies. If you wanna use a different interval, you can check out the previous video, which shows you how to get the data in different intervals. So we take a look at the price series, we have 15 minute bars and all of these are just the closing prices for each of these cryptocurrencies. All right, so let's go back to our script. I'm gonna go ahead and extract the column names. Now I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the momentum every 60 bars. The number is arbitrary. I'm just using this as an example, but if you wanna use a different look back period, you could always change it. This would be the line to do so. So let's go ahead and run this line and we'll take a look at this momentum data frame. So we'll take up the first 60 bars to calculate the momentum for each of the cryptocurrencies and each row represents the percentage return the last 60 bars. So I'll go ahead and get rid of these NAs by starting the actual data on 928 at midnight. So I'll go ahead and run that line. We'll also start our price series at the same time interval just to keep things consistent. If your date and time differ from my price series, it may be due to the fact that you're in a different time zone. So just go ahead and adjust the price series accordingly. As I mentioned previously, I'll be using the one hour intervals to get in and out of positions. So in this next line, I'm just gonna create a time sequence starting from my starting point, which is 928, 2019 at midnight to present. And I'm gonna be separating that by one hour just so that our time sequences are spread out evenly. So I'll go ahead and run that line. So I'll go ahead and use that time sequence to subset our momentum and our price series. So if we run the following two lines and then we take a look at select, and price two, our index will be the same for both price series and the select, and the select contains all the momentum at every hourly interval. All right, so let's go back to our script. The next task will be to make combinations of four assets. So if we run that line and we take a look at assets four, we have groups of four cryptocurrencies. So in the strategy, I'll just pass in each column which contains the group of four cryptocurrencies, and then we will decide which group has the highest performance. So I'll go ahead and run through an example. This following line just extracts the number of columns in our assets four. So I'll go ahead and assign X equal to one. And I'm gonna run this first line, which is just gonna extract the names of the cryptocurrencies in that group. So we take a look at Y. Our first group is Algo, ZRX, Link, and ETC. I'll then pass in those cryptocurrencies to extract the data. So we take a look at S. Here we see the momentum at every hourly interval. So this next line will use apply at every row and we're gonna extract which is the max and that will get us a sequence that we will later use. So here I'm just gonna print out the sequence which will get us the highest momentum. So if we see we have a printout of ones which means that ALGO, in this case, returned the highest momentum in each of these hourly intervals. And we can visually see that for this row, ALGO does in fact have the highest momentum out of the four and continues to have the highest momentum out of the six hourly intervals. So the next thing to do is to actually extract the returns. So here I'm just gonna pass in the tickers or the cryptocurrencies into my price series, and then I'll calculate returns. And these are returns for hourly intervals. So then I'm gonna apply the strategy by passing in our sequences and I'm gonna multiply the sequences with our returns. So if we run that block and we'll take a look at all. So if you recall, we have algo as an outperformer, the first six bars, which is why we see returns for algo and no returns for the other three assets. So every time there's a change, we will see returns for that asset and zeros for the other three. So here it looks like Algo was the outperformer and then it switched to Link. 
at this time interval and then switch back to algo. So what I'm gonna do now is extract the row sums so that we only have one column instead of these four. So here we have row sums and I'm gonna return that as an XTS object. So if we take a look at equity. Now we only have one column for the returns of the four. I'll then modify the column names to reflect what the assets were. And then finally just return that equity curve. So let's take a closer look at the performance for these four assets. So as you see, these four assets had poor performance from 2019 until present. So after this example, I hope you get the overall gist of what's going on under the hood. So I'll be passing in the rest of these cryptocurrencies and we'll take a look at which combination has the best performance. All right, so let's go back to our script. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this function. I'll then go ahead and run this function and I'm gonna pass in all the combinations. So this may take a while to run, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and return when this is done running. So after that's done running, I'm gonna eliminate empty list by running the following line. I'm gonna extract the column sums for each of the equity curves, and I'm gonna use that to sort from least to greatest, and then I'll subset the top 10, and then I'm gonna extract the column sums and store them into this triple A variable. And if we run this following line, this will get us the combination with the highest return. So we see that link, ETC, XLM, and ETH had a return of approximately 634% over the time period, which makes it the best performer out of all the combinations. So then I'm going to extract that equity curve by running this following line. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the performance in a chart. All right, so hopefully you can see the chart okay. We have a couple of substantial drawdowns, but overall we see that this is trending in the right direction. And this is the performance from the end of September all the way to June 6, 2021. So now I'll go ahead and plot the rest of the equity curves in that top 10 variable to see how they performed all together. So let's go back to our script. So I'll go ahead and merge the top 10 and then plot them all together. All right, so for the most part, all of these are trending in the right direction. We do have some substantial drawdowns, and we also see that for the top 10, we have a common cryptocurrency, which is Link. I'm not too familiar with that cryptocurrency. And now finally, let's take a look at how they performed this year. So I'll go ahead and run the following line for 2021 only. So far this year, these combinations have had a great run. We do see a drawdown below negative 15%. Whereas if we were just to invest in Ethereum or Bitcoin, I think those have had a drawdown of more than 40% or 50%. So there's no telling whether these assets will continue to trend upwards. But in the next video, I'll try to make an algorithm so that we can trade the best performer out of the bunch and we can send orders to Coinbase Pro. So this concludes the video, guys. I hope this was informative. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.